to financial and physical well-being and helping you get over your emotional crap that comes with your parents. So I'm your coach for that. Anyways, so today's video is how to make more money. You could say part two or three. It's really how to start getting into investing. Now, you're probably thinking like, why, why, would, why would I get, why would I want to get into investing? And if you want to get into it, how do you get involved? It's real simple to get involved actually, believe it or not. Let's start with the first question. Why would you want to get into investing? Because a lot of people, and I thought this too, you, when it comes to the idea of investing to stock market, I'm going to stick with just in this industry with the stock market, okay? Not real estate. A lot of people think the stock market is way too risky. Um, it's too complex too hard and you're gonna lose money and you know only the people who, who make you know millions upon billions of dollars the ones that 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 can get in and then they're the ones who somehow make money through whatever secrets that they know or people also believe that you need to have like you know 10 grand just sitting there to, to invest and all that is pure bullshit it's not you don't need you can literally I kid you not and I'll show you in a second you can start investing for a little for a little as five dollars or daily if you want. And you're like, how is that possible? I'll get into that in, in, in a little bit. But the reason why you wanna get into the stock market and start investing in the stocks and bonds, okay, is because if you're a person who wants to do more with your money and have a cushion, you wanna be able to save money for college or buy, put, put a down payment house or build wealth like I am, okay, you gotta understand investing is a long-term thing, not some short-term bullshit, I need money today. You gotta, you gotta do it for at least three years five years or 10 years, okay? For me, I'm, I'm right now it's at five, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for 10. Now, some of the stuff I've learned from um, Dr. Boyce Watkins, okay, the Black Business School, but this advice can go for anyone, all right? The thing about it is that that's where wealth has been built for, oh God, centuries. The stock market's been around for, not so much the one here in the United States, but stock market in Europe and stuff, and when's come here, it's been, it's been around for, I, in the book I got, like, 400 years or 600 years it's old it's nothing it's not like it came out in 19 1920s it's old as shit it's like 400 years old like that or more so it's been around for a while so it's obviously it's seen a share of you know economic downturns upturns but even if the stock market goes down guess what it, it will always correct itself now where, real, where all the wealth has been has been made over time is through the stock market. It's buying portions of stocks from each company that you will then own, and over time that wealth that that value goes up and up and up and up and up and up and up, and you will make money on days you don't have to do anything. It's crazy. It's good. It's awesome. So if your person wants to you know be able to have money for retirement, build wealth, and make all these purchase down payments, stock market is going to be, but that's money that you have to let sit there and just chill out. Now. To get started, it's real simple. You can ease, you can open an account at a TD Ameritrade, which I did. It doesn't take any money. There's no credit checks or anything. Um, they just they, all they all they require is um, to start buying stocks is at least fifty bucks. Uh, there's another guy whose video, which I'll put in link here, Jake something. Um, but he says that like truly really start investing. If you want to like, get get on a good foot, you know, invest five hundred bucks here and there. And if you don't have that um, to get started, what I use. So I can show my phone is Stash Invest. Now you can use it here. It's called Stash. I don't know if you see it. It'll say like you know, buy the login. But you can start with investing a little five dollars. And it's great about them is that they make it real stupidly simple. Ask your name information. Um, ask you what your invest style is. It conservative, moderate, or aggressive? Okay. I did mine in the beginning for a conservative. I want to like start small. It's it's it, if you're gonna invest, it's starting small. It's planting seeds. You're building. You're basically planting seeds of your garden of wealth. Okay, one seed turns into two, three, whatever. Plant your seeds. While the seeds make it, of course not. But if you do your research, if you do your homework, if you listen to people who who are who are, who are have years of experience of success in the stock market and know what they're doing, you'll be fine. Because yes, in the stock market, will you lose money? Yes. No, there's it's 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 almost impossible to guess what stocks you what people lose money even the people who have made who made millions and billions of dollars in the stock market lose money. Warren Buffett, one of the richest people on planet Earth, has lost money in the stock market. Okay, it happens. Now, probably wondering, well, how do I, how can I avoid losing money in the stock market? You can't. It's going to happen because stocks fluctuate. Okay. So the ways that you lose money in the stock market, just so you know, so you don't freak out and think, oh my God. One, you put all your money to one thing. You don't do your research. Two, you only put money in something of the latest fad, and that's risky as shit. Okay. Three, 
Use money because if you do, even if you do research, the stocks you buy, your stuff fluctuates. It goes up and down. It happens. Like for example, I just started. Um, I'm doing ten bucks a week, and I've lost ten cents. I gained like you know twenty cents back or like seven cents back or something. So it's small, but it happens. And the reason why is because right now it's time North Korea and the United States really aren't liking each other, and hopefully you won't go to war with them again. So that's really rock and stock market. But the thing about it is that. The, the really the time to buy stocks is when everything's low. People are like, why? Well, human nature's like, oh shit, it's all going down. They sell it. If you buy everything when it's really when it's low and, and cheap as shit, the stock market inevitably at some point in time is going to go back up. So hold on your shit now. Get in now. Buy stuff that's cheap and just wait. Just wait. Because at some point, if you're doing research with the smart stocks and everything else, it's going to go back up. When it does, the shit you bought now, invest in is cheap goes back up in value, which means you've made money without having to work for it. Your money is working for you. The stock market is where you put your money to work for you 24 seven, 365, all year long, 10 years, five years, today you die, and beyond your money's working for you, nonstop. I like that concept. Instead of, instead of having to go to work all the time for eight hours or whatever, and go to a job that you're like, this is bullshit, I don't wanna do this anymore. Well, put your money that you're spending on any extra, if wasting money, whatever it is, man, that's money you can go back to stock market. Like I said, do your research. I find some for you guys. I'll post some good stuff on here. I have to do my own research, you know. I just got, I just got started. I'll tell you that much. But I'm glad I am because it's time to start. And the compound interest kicks in, and as you go along, you know, and Sash tells you like, you know, how much money you put in now, and, and gives you actual um, graphs and stuff. It's saying, hey, if I put in like, you know. 500 bucks a month, what's gonna look like in four years, 10 years, whatever. If I did a thousand, 10, whatever it is. Obviously, the more you invest, the better it is. But you gotta start where you're at. And like I said, you're growing a garden. And if it starts small now, that's okay. Because everything that was that's huge now and big, it's already really small. It's gotta grow. You gotta give it time, love, energy, all that fun jazz, you know what I mean? So start with stats. I, I suggest that. It's simple. They, they, they break stuff down. They give you articles on what's going on, help you understand stuff. All right. And by the way, I don't get paid for them for saying this. I'm not an affiliate, just so you know. But start investing is simple. Start with what you can. If it's five bucks a week, fuck it, five bucks a week. It's all good. If you can do more than that, by all means do it. Because over time you'll it, you'll be better. You'll feel better. I feel better my money already. Like it's great to know that like, yeah, it's like I don't have to do anything and my money's working for me. Instead of feeling like you always gotta do something to earn money, it's right there. Shit. And over time it grows. But don't worry about losing money. It's gonna happen, but stocks fluctuate. As long as you're doing research, investing in stuff that's safe, you know what you're doing, yeah, your stocks are gonna go down, but they'll go up. And if there's a crash in the market, I'll let you know about it. There's people I can refer you to that will tell you what to do this way when it does go down. You're not like, oh my God, you're like, great. You can anticipate it, buy what's there, sell what you need to sell, buy more, and just, just sit there and wait and chill. I don't know, it's because there are people who have made money in the Great Depression, they created more million, more millionaires because people knew what they were doing. And then people who actually made a ton of money in the latest um, crisis of 2008, 2008, 2009. Why? Simple. They decided to do things different than the masses and they got information to know what they were doing. If you knew that, so here's the thing. How much better would you feel if you knew that there's an there economic downturn coming, a huge one, but you knew if you had some money to invest, you can make a lot of money. Would you be afraid of it? You'd be like, fuck yeah, it crashed. I mean, you don't want that, but you'd be like, shoot. Every time the stock market goes down, like you make more money, you'd be like, oh shit. And then when it cracks up, you make more, you're like, oh shit. You'd be like, this is awesome. I don't have to fear anything anymore. And it's not, it's because if you just don't get into this thing, it'll always control you, always screw you up. You'll always be at its mercy when you can be the driver's seat and you're the one who can go for it. And how, like I always say in my videos, you know, helping create, you know, financial abundance. Is that what you want? Abundance. So one of the ways to start making passive income is through stock market. Now you have to monitor it and see what's going on, and but you don't have to do that. You can do it every day if you want. I really don't, but just learn more stuff, yo. Um, a book you can get. This book by Tony Robbins breaks up down on how to start doing your own retirement and investing. And I bought it in 2013. Just started to. Uh, didn't finish it. Now I'm finishing it. I'm glad I did now. I should have done it years ago. But start doing shit now. I can't hammer this anymore. Start investing. Start investing. Start investing. Start investing. Start investing. It's your future. It's it's 
gives you peace of mind, man. Like, it's, stock market is, is fun. Once you learn it, you, you realize how much fun it can be. And you're like, oh, shit. Because money you make, like, you have enough money invested. Like, you can used to have day. You make 200 bucks in a day. You didn't do anything. You could have been watching Netflix naked. <laughs> and you still made money. Now, is that going to happen every time? No, but isn't it going to be nice to know that you can make that much money or more if you don't by just having your stocks perform for you? Think about it. What if they did wealth? You didn't have to work. What if What if you did make, to make money? You said to put money in the right spots and your money worked for you. What if you didn't have to work, go to work to make money? It's all possible. The only one, the only one stopping you is you. Here's the door. I cannot make you step through it. That's on you. So, I'm going to end this video now. I appreciate you. I love you. Comment. Let me know your thoughts or like, subscribe. And if you like more stuff on this, you know, um, subscribe to my newsletter, which is in the link below. And when you do, uh, you'll be up for a free coaching session, okay? Talk more about this, any other issues, to do with money, relationships, whatever. Get you through that process. So, love y'all. Get in the black. Peace.